chill here for a little bit i'm gonna call the the customer or the shipper i'm sorry the shipper because yeah the gps says it's right here and there's nothing <laughs> so i'll get with you guys in a bit yeah they were a little further down just had to give them a quick call and uh yeah they guided me right to where i needed to be they're right here to our left That second driveway and don't get me loaded. Oh, I see it. Yeah, we're picking up a sky track, which is like a a forklift, a construction forklift. guys so got in contact with these people we're picking up that forklift straight ahead but I was just told it doesn't start 
it doesn't run or it doesn't start or they can't get it to start i'm not sure but i don't know i don't know what we're gonna do i call my uh i, I called the people here they're gonna see what they can and then uh hopefully they get it running but they better man because this is this is so dumb you know we're gonna pick it up you know it has to be gone and you don't even try to get it on you don't have to try to start it whatever but i let my dispatch know i covered my end so hopefully they get it on they get it started all right guys so quick update um they couldn't get it figured out so we're on our we're gonna make our way towards midland that's what my boss told me to do so that's what we're gonna do and hopefully we get something good going out of there so catch you guys in a bit what's up guys so we made it we're about it's about 5 40 5 45 so just in time they called me i think they stopped like they closed at like six something so they want to get they wanted to get me loaded as quick as possible but um they called me to confirm my ata and i was like two miles out so we're good though we are good just gotta figure out where we gotta stage up you know what we'll just park out right here we're getting i think we're getting some hazmat totes We will see. But alright guys, I'll check back in with you guys in a bit. Alright, so we made it, they're already loading me. It's super nice so to be able to hear me. But I'm getting all that stuff there and then some stuff on this side. You can smell the rain coming. Holy shit. It looks way darker on the phone too. Hopefully it rains when I'm on the road and not when I'm still in Midland because it's, it's pretty dusty here and she, she needs to fucking wash. Look at that beautiful fucking day. It feels good out here. You got a nice breeze. I really do, but it ain't hitting the way it was before, or at least not yet. So let's get loaded and then uh, get out of here. Alright, we just got loaded, so we gotta go. Because he's got to close the gate. What a nice and crispy 39,000 pounds. Super light. So it's going to be easy. We should be flying pretty good with 39,000 pounds. But uh, I guess we'll find out. But I'm gonna pull into this truck stop that's uh, literally like down the street, like third, like a minute down the street. And uh, I'm gonna see if I can find somewhere to fuel close by. If not, we'll just stay the night there, so. But I'll see. This highway though, right here, Highway 307, I guess they redid it because it's it's nice. They even got lights down here too, you know, the stop lights. Yeah, if you go, if you take 307 further down, like way down, yeah, it's, it's pretty bad but yeah we're out of here it was a long day we didn't get that first load because they couldn't get that machine started but i mean i guess it was it turned out to be a blessing in disguise because it's going down to houston and it's pretty light and we're staying in texas for another couple days so I think this delivers Thursday or tomorrow. I don't know. But all I know is it's going to an oil field place, so I'm familiar with shit like that. Cool guy. This guy was cool. He took his time, but he was, you know, quick about it. You know, got to give credit where credit is due, you know, because not all the time will you get, you know, uh, forklift operators that actually give a damn about getting out of work you know going home this guy wanted to go home he loaded me pretty quick so worked out and i don't remember this little truck stop this gas station truck stop i don't remember that being there it has to be brand new maybe like a year old and then also they got a little like um shopping uh what do they call them where they got uh, several little shopping stores and shit. I don't fucking know. Like a shopping plex or whatever the hell they're fucking called. But 
yeah, they got some off to the left, and they're still, you know, filling them in with the stores. So they're expanding. Midland is growing. It's growing. It's getting bigger for sure. Once drilling keeps up, you know, commences again, you know, new leases and shit. It'll, it'll fill back up like it was. Well, it'll fill it back. Fill up back even more. But yeah, this one wasn't too bad. I mean, there's one pallet that has these uh, five-gallon buckets. And I, f I fucking hate hauling those because all they do is put, like, one wire and then, like, a little bit of uh, that ceram wrap that they, they wrap them in. That's all they do. And then they'll shift. And then you can't strap them down too tight. Excuse me. Uh, <laughs> excuse me. And you can't strap them down too tight because then you'll, you'll risk... Damn. You'll risk breaking the fucking um, the uh, the five gallon buckets because they sit right above each other. So you gotta be careful with them. You got uh, firm, but not too fucking firm. But either way, we'll make it work. Let's go park next to these Peterbilts over here. I like pulling straight out. Yeah. Look at this. Like, come on. I don't know about you guys, but whenever I back in or I park, whatever the fuck. I straightened out my wheels, dog. Let's go between the purple. The purple and the gray. I straightened out my wheels. Just because I know what can happen. You know, if you don't if you don't straighten out your wheels and then you get some dumbass that don't know how to reverse, it's gonna take out your fucking wheel. And then here I go, I didn't straighten out the way I wanted to, but hey. It's all good. Don't make it happen, Captain. Yeah, we got plenty of room. Plenty of fucking room. But yeah, we're gonna stop. We're gonna check real quick to see where uh, my next fuel stop is, and if I can make it, I'll make it. But if not, I'll wait till tomorrow morning. It's already 6:40, so it's pretty late. Yeah, so I might just call it a night. Well, it depends. If I have signal, I'll call it a night. But if I don't have signal, I'm going to go find somewhere to park that has signal. I ain't, ain't going to be bored tonight or any night, man. But yeah, pretty easy. I mean, had my had they found this load maybe an hour sooner, I would have got loaded a long time ago. But it, it happens, you know find some some early and other times you don't not a big deal but yeah let's see what's up what's up guys so we parked chilled for a little bit before i run inside to get some food just thought i'd come outside real quick stretch my legs yeah getting pretty tired but yeah this is it Short loads about 36,000 pounds, maybe a little less. That bag's already torn. I have to take a picture of that, probably put some tape or something. But yeah, that's all we're getting. Uh, I forgot to check when it's due, but I think it's due tomorrow, sometime tomorrow afternoon. Or what is it? Uh, today's Tuesday, I went to the, might be Thursday morning. I don't know, but yeah, uh, I'm gonna call it a night. Might have to tarp it, I'm not sure yet. I have to double check. But I, I don't think so. I don't see why I would need to be tarped. It was outside. Like, this shit was outside. So I don't think why I would need to tarp it. But And it's covered in plastic. Like All of it is, is good. So, But yeah. I'm going to go run inside get some food. And then we're going to chill for the rest of the day. But um, I'll catch you guys tomorrow morning. Good morning, YouTube. We already did our pre-trip. We uh, kind of overslept a little bit. But uh, it's all right. Make up, make up a good time once we get on the road. But uh, yeah, we checked our straps. Everything's fine. Let's get it going. Hey, what's up, guys? So I stopped real quick. Uh, it's not a real busy road uh, here, just uh, north of San Angelo. We're going around because uh, some of it, some of the cargo we got is hazmat. But my fuel gauge hasn't moved. I'm getting pretty good mileage, which is weird. But uh, I gotta get out. I gotta check the tanks. Make sure I got fuel because. My next fuel stop after San Angelo is like 80 miles away in Brady, Texas. So 
Let's get off and check these tanks and see if we still got some fuel. Yeah, it's beautiful out here. It's a beautiful morning. Just north of uh, Abilene, but let's uh, Abilene of San Angelo. Let's check these tanks real quick. Let's see. Y'all can't see it, but I got about I got about a quarter tank. Maybe a little less. There we go. Can you see it? There we go. Yeah, about less than a quarter tank on this side. 150 divided by four is about 37 gallons or 38 gallons or something like that. You do the math. Let's say I average about four miles a gallon at my worst. 37 times four, uh, over 120 miles. And my next fuel stop is 80 something miles. But when we get on this side, Check this tank. Don't worry, there ain't nobody coming this way. Ain't nobody coming that way. We got plenty of diesel. We got over half. This is a 100 gallon tank over here. So we got over 50 gallons over here. So we got a total of about. Damn, it's beautiful out here. Look at this. Yeah, we got about 100. Nah, I'm sorry, we got about 80 something gallons. So, we got about 80 something gallons. My bad, I, was, I got a notification. But uh, we got about 80 something gallons. That's about, let's we'll say about four gallons of four miles a gallon. That's about 18, 12, 13, 16, 24, 30. That's about 300 miles. And we only got 80 miles to go. So, we got plenty of diesel. We'll make it. So, let's keep it going. Texas. Just stop and get some fuel. I don't I don't usually stop here whenever I do roll through here. Only because it's a really tight area. But there was no other fuel stops in this direction. Not until junction. I think he had junction, but uh we should be okay. We'll put some fuel real quick and then we'll keep going. We got room. Oh wow. That pump don't work. Is that guy not putting diesel? We 
got somebody over here. One second, guys. I adjusted my straps on top of the buckets. One of them came loose, one of them was completely off, so I had to readjust it, I had to put like two by fours on top so that way the, the straps put weight down on the on the buckets evenly. And then I tried to turn my truck on right now and it wouldn't it would just crank. Like it would crank once and then that's it. I don't know, I get I don't know what's going on. We we changed the starter a couple months ago. I think it's just the batteries. It might might be the batteries. Or the alternator not charging because right now look we're at 13 and a half and it's been running for a couple of minutes but uh we're good i'm just not gonna turn it off until i get to like a, a speed code because i gotta get a pm done anyways so we got 275 miles it's about four and a half hours 4 30 5 30 hopefully i get there before 5 30 if i hit no traffic but uh yeah let's get going y'all can hear me uh, but they finally got me in here I had to turn pull in turn left into this narrow road they're unloading me now they're about halfway done and then uh, they're gonna have me pull forward and reverse my trailer back this way so I can get out the way I came in it was, it's that or reverse out I'm not about to do that so we're gonna have to figure this out I don't know why they have all this stuff this close like this right here it don't matter we'll make it happen they got people so they'll keep me from falling off the edge and stuff i shouldn't even come close to this side but the other side's similar but uh we got no choice it's the only way we're gonna get out so let's see what happens all right guys so they got me turned around it was really really tight in there but they had people guiding me it was, it was great you know it was hard in and hard way out but we got it we got it done but um yeah now we're unloaded and we got to go towards baytown which is about 30 miles from here thank god i can go all the way around i don't have to go through the interstate because that, that shit is bad right now for sure it has to be 
Uh, but I have to go to a speed go and I have to get a PM done on this truck. But uh, I probably won't record it. I might. I don't know. But that'll probably be for the next video. But this is a short one. Midland to Texas City. I thought it was Dickinson. But no, it's Texas City, Texas. Um, real close to the coast. To the Gulf of Mexico. It's fucking humid here. I hate it. But it is what it is. Um, so please drop a like. Comment. Subscribe. You know, Give me your thoughts. Let me know what you guys think. Uh, I could not record as much in there because it was very, very small. And, you know, I had to get in, had to get out. So let's make our way to this truck stop, but I'm going to finish it here. I'll catch you guys on the next one. Peace. When it comes to cash, bitch, I feel like a magnet. If she a baddie in her bag, then that's attractive. Boy, you so dramatic with the acting. You need practice. Ain't fucking with you maggots. Big steppers, I let you have it. Seven on, I'm walking on, I'm seven on, I'm